Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Today I am just going to play Eden. See how that treats us. Uh, that's not the bowl cut. Monster manual and lipstick, oh god. Fire rate's not that bad. Now here's the seed uh, and the stats. Fire rate's not that bad. Damage looks like it might be okay, actually. It wasn't an XL4. Oh, that's not full guppy. I thought for a second that I was just like gonna become guppy. Like, okay, sure. All right, but I'll take it all. I don't need to be here again. So Guppy's Collar, 50% chance to respawn at half a heart if I die. Dead Cat, nine lives, sets me to one red heart. Gimpy, whenever I get hit, there's a chance to drop a uh, soul heart or black heart. And whenever I kill an enemy, there's a chance it drops a half red heart. Three really good items, sort of. Like Dead Cat and, well, Dead Cat's really good. Guppy's Collar is good only to become Guppy. It's otherwise pretty much useless. Contact, chance that when I shoot a tear that it's a freezing tear. Stops an enemy dead. Not dead, but like, you know, they're still alive. But it just freezes enemies. Very useful. But at first I misread that situation and I thought that I had instantly just rolled into a Guppy right there. I just thought there were three Guppy pieces and I was like, wait, that's not, that's not a Guppy piece, that's Gimpy. And I was like, whoa. Still, pretty good luck. Though, I, I do want to make sure that it is known. That I, a lot of the time when something like this happens to me, I end up not getting any more guppy pieces for the rest of the run. Oh, dang it, I didn't realize I had the broken remote. I was like, what? Monster Manual doesn't teleport you? This is all wrong, and now I don't have the Monster Manual for my freaking Duke of Flies fight. Oh, well, it's not champion anymore, take that. System. Uh, left control is the default drop key, by the way. So you can get rid of your trinket and your card or pill. Goodness, though. That could have been really useful. I don't know what familiar I got, I didn't pay attention. I don't know if I could have seen. Like, I don't know if it activated when I left the room or not, or if it um, activated and was visible for like zero frames or something <laughs> in the room itself, the boss room itself. Either way, I messed up a little bit there, not noticing that. Halo, all stats up. Nice. 0.3 damage. Uh, I think that my damage multiplier is above 1, which is good. Because it, it looks like I gained a little more than normal out of uh, the Halo. But I think I have a good damage multiplier. So let's be on our way now. With a little more health. Uh, we're still guaranteed a devil room on the next floor because we couldn't possibly earn this one. And you only lose chance when you actually earn a devil room. So we're still good for that. Things are looking good. Got a... Good. I was actually a little worried there. Alright, get out of my face. Out of my face. I, I could use the monster manual again, but I really don't need to. Uh, I, I don't need anything from this room, but I'm going to blow these up in case that actually... Yeah, gets the... Pot gives me money. That's exactly what I was saying. Although I would have preferred getting... Something, uh, the, the quarter. I wanted the quarter out of that. Not that it was likely. I have no keys, so I can't go here at the moment. Freeze it. Or don't. I don't need to. As long as it doesn't get knocked into the rocks, it's fine. Alright, I have a bomb for that tinted rock. And that tinted rock will hopefully secure me my devil room. Or not. Also could just not. I wouldn't mind that either, I guess. Oh, I was like, what? And I understood. Alright, let's fight. Robo baby. Sure, why not, right? 
Okay, I almost walked right into that. I mean, Robo Baby is not a useful familiar by any means. Especially given the second position thanks to the dead cat. But it's something. At least it's gonna hit. For the most part. Alright, we got this. See? We got this. Now we have luck up, two keys, and a soul heart. Nice. I will take this, one damage up, and a chance that uh, my tears will fear enemies on hit. Now I have two keys, so I can go to the item room and get this. Bob's brain. Uh, Lazarus's rags. I don't even want Lazarus's rags. A respawn is Lazarus. I don't even know if it gives you the stat boost that Lazarus gets on his respawn. This is like potentially a run that Bob's brain could work with, but I just I don't think that it's a run that I want to play that way. And I think that ultimately I will end up with a run that isn't very compatible with Bob's brain with the way I play. I'm gonna go ahead and use my executive power of veto on that one. I'd say maybe next time. He really doesn't do anything. Well, it puts hairs on my head, but doesn't do anything useful or detrimental. Dang. I mean, I don't have any bombs or anything, so. Thanks. Uh, I have a, or a key again. About to say a curse. I can't get to that, though. Yeah. Ooh, that hurts. Give me a coin. You can do it. Uh, I, I don't have any anything I can do. In here, just a heart. Respawn doesn't help me. I don't have any bombs. I can't use Bob's brain as a bomb because I don't have anything for it to hit. I'm screwed, so I guess I'll just buy the soul heart, which is what I went in for anyway. Oh well. Oh well. Let's go. Why are you still open? I don't want you. Thank you. At least we got one damage up. Caves XL. Alright, so we lose a potential double room, basically. Because this is going to be both caves, floors, and one. Uh, we lose a shop. We don't lose an item room. We don't lose a boss. We lose a few rooms. I don't know. I Overall, I think XL floors are a bad roll. Never really want them. First floor, they're kind of okay. Like, in this case, we lost a double room. If we had gotten one on the first floor, we did lose a double room that we actually got by the teleport. In this case, we lose a double room that we could have earned. But we gain a little bit of devil room chance because of it, as far as consecutive floors are concerned, because it's like we skipped a floor. We're just going to have the 0.25, or the 0.5 multiplier, and not the 0.25 multiplier. No, don't do that. That's so rude. Why would you ever do such a thing to anyone? Alright. Do the thing. Thank you. Alright, I will need a key for both item rooms. Which is nice, I guess, to get a key drop, that is. Alright, as long as I don't have to fight, I guess I don't mind. Give me as many pointless rooms as you want. Can I do it? I can. Wonderful, I actually kind of didn't think I could. Okay. Back off, guys. I don't want to fight you that badly. How did... I walked right back into it. How did I do that? Oh well. I love the sounds when you kill 
a frozen enemy because it's just like the rock crushing sound. Thank you for finally getting hit by something. All right, 10 cents. I'm interested. All right, you're you're running away too much. Okay, so I've managed to go the wrong way every try again. As I often do. I'd love to go to the curse room, however. An endeavor for later. Hmm, it's worth using it for. Sissy? Who gave me Sissy? Sissy spawns spiders when she feels like it. What the heck, man? Spiders do two and a half times my damage, though. Like, they got something going for them, at least. And if she feels like spawning a lot of spiders, then hey. I don't know if there's any limit to her, so I might be able to just, like, wait in this room forever and get an army of spiders. I'm not going to do that, though. I don't know. I don't really keep up on the sissy meta. Like, does she only do it in fighting rooms? I would imagine so. But she probably can't do it anymore. By the way, it's whatever. I got some spiders. Alright. Yo, be a really good item room, please. Hey, it listened. That's one damage up. And if we get a Book of Belial or a Devil card, uh, instead of just plus two damage, it'll be plus two and times 1.5 damage. Pretty stellar. Uh, that's thanks to this item. That's the same 1.5 multiplier you get with the Magic Mushroom or Cricket's Head, though. So if I get either of those, those multipliers do not stack. So there's no reason to need or care about getting both of them. Alright, so the concern here is obviously, I have no soul hearts. I could easily lose my Devil Room chance. With one misstep, like that almost was the one misstep that it took. Almost got hit there. Credit card. Buy everything in the shop or the Devil Room at no cost. That's good. Whoa, man. Alright, let's fight. The Fallen gives me a guaranteed Devil Room item. And I think it's probably more worth using this for. Oh, but that's useless. I can't get any use out of that for this fight. Which is quite unfortunate. I wish instead of you getting feared, you would get frozen. Like that one did. For like zero seconds, I guess, but better than no freezing. Oh, dang it, I didn't move in time. So there goes my Devil Room chance as far as not getting hit on the floor, but not as far as not getting hit on the boss, because the first boss doesn't count. Unless they fixed that, which I don't know that they did. But I get a Devil Room item anyway. Alright, one black heart on use. It's useful. Cool. I should have seen that, though. That's like 100% on me. It wouldn't be if they were indistinguishable, but they're not. Like, that was all me. So this is the Gertie that can't shoot. I can pretty much just sit here and be fine. But I'll still need to move sometimes for them. Generally, though, I'm just going to stay here. Good. I mean, there's a half heart there when I need it. Hopefully I get this double room anyway. It's pretty unlikely. But it is possible. I need more fire rate. Give me a fire rate up. You don't mind. Remember, there's another item room as well. So hopefully that's really good. What am I really feeling? I'd be feeling a D6 pretty nicely. Pretty unlikely. Oh, nice. Magic Mushroom, all stats up. Including a 1.5 damage multiplier. Only 0.3 damage, but still very good. That's weird. Didn't I... Do I have the Halo this run? Didn't I get the Halo this run? Yeah, totes. So I've gotten the Halo and the Magic Mushroom again. That happened last run as well. 
Grab his head instead of the freaking lump of coal. Why? Why you do this? Anyway, that's great though. Great luck. I'm happy. Not much not to love here. Wait, there's my key. It's no longer a really dumb idea to go to the uh, first room. That's nice as well. That is also nice. The bean. All right, well, sucks. Life, though. Life. Let's check out the first room, and well, I'll clear stuff on the way first. I'll even shoot these fires. Mm, we're not really on pace for the boss rush. Alright, well, that's fine. That's, like, a little unfortunate, but it doesn't matter. I don't tend to do the boss rush anyway. Even when I earn it. Alright, I'll check out the shop. Remember, I have the credit card. So I could buy everything. I could also not. We shall see right now. Yeah, I'm buying everything. Yeah, sure. Humbling bundle. Turns all pickups into a 1 plus 1 freestyle. Doesn't work on that one because... But... I'm not going to switch to the candle. Because at the moment I need the generation of stuff. But... You know, good to get rid of it from the pool, basically. Really? The secret room is just, like, way over yonder. Four keys worth the worth. All right. Now we just need the top secret room, which is probably here. Yes. And I don't need it. Let's go, though. I would say I'm pretty happy with that, uh... That floor, that floor went well. It was a good floor. We can hang out again sometime if it is into that. It might not be, but... Just wanted it to know the offer was open. As far as XL floors goes, that was a... a friendly one. Wow. Humbling Bundle doesn't work on, um... coins other than pennies, by the way. Only on pennies. No tinted rock for once. Usually always a tinted rock in there. For some reason, because it's not like it's the room that has the highest concentration of rocks or anything. Highest concentration nor amount. It's just usually there's a tinted rock in that room and it's weird. Alright. Haven't seen petrified poop in a while. No thanks. Can't see the map because of the curse. Which is a little unfortunate, but that's alright too. I'll live. I'll just not clear the floor because I won't know what I have and haven't done for the most part. I'll find the item room, I'll find the boss, I'll find the shop, and I'll leave. Why am I getting so lucky with uh, these half heart drops? Oh, maybe it's because the first one dropped it and they all count as the same enemy or something? That's a bug that happens often with, um, oh nice, with um, killing them all like at once. I didn't know it could happen not killing them all at once. That's cool. Okay. We got two health up pills, which is nice. Is this a lot more bargaining power for the devil rooms that we hopefully continue earning? Oh, that's gonna take a while. I would actually love to get hit again. 
just for that. Gets them killed faster. Oh, well, that was unfortunate. But at least insta-kill. Still, I need more health now. Full hearts, please. Or black hearts, of course. You know what I mean. Alright, Empress is going to be more of a damage up for me, I guess. 1.5 the a larger number than 0.3. And strength is just a magic mushroom for a room. Which obviously I already have, so it won't get the multiplier again. The health is nice, potentially. But I'm not that in need. Beat up. Okay, now I'm real fast. Moon is a secret room teleport. Would get me pretty lost on this floor. I thought. Pick that up now. Not that I was avoiding it. I just didn't pick up the last one because I didn't really notice it. Eh, I should play this. Oh, IV bag. I was hoping for a uh, blood bag, of course. Ah, I suck at fighting this guy. But we're fine. Dang. Freezing in really bad positions for actually managing to shoot them. Shoot it in that case, but like, yeah. Alright, life is good. But I did pick up the IV bag. Which means that in the future we should only get uh, blood bags if we play any more of them. Probably won't end up doing that. And I have an item room. Thanks. And my shop. Perfect. Oh, if it weren't for that tier, I was out of there in the clear. But the tier made it impossible not to get hit. Allows me to hold two trinkets. I'll do it. Take the soul heart. Take the key. Item room. The soul. Item I actually dislike, but I'll take it for the soul hearts. I think the soul is pretty bad, because in my experience it pretty much just makes it so that, uh, yes, some tiers will avoid me, but not all of them, so I'll either try to count on it and it won't make the tier avoid me, so I'll just get hit, or when it activates I'll try to dodge anyway because I'm not expecting it to activate, and um, I'll dodge right where it pushes the tier. So I don't really like that, but it can be useful, and also works on charging enemies. So it can be pretty nice. But I think calling it anything other than mediocre is a bit of a stretch, personally. Evil range and shot speed up. All right, let's go. Boom. No curse, I love it. Oh wait, oh yeah, no curse, we're good. I was really confused for a second when the map disappeared when it didn't say Curse the Lost, and I was like, you just hate me now? No, it's cool. Don't do it. Oh, I'm getting hit. Oh yeah, that curve away. Beautiful. When it works. You know, gotta appreciate it when it does do a thing. Just doesn't always do a thing. Let's check out this uh, arcade. Not interested. Remember, I can hold two trinkets. I just don't have any trinkets to try and hold at the moment. Working on it. All right. All right. I'm happy. This is a good room. I think a tier just avoided me again. It's really nice to have in rooms uh, like that, the soul that is, where t 
Seers can just randomly hit you and it won't necessarily be in your control. So some of those will actually avoid you, and that's like, okay, that's better than nothing for sure. It is better than nothing, I'm just saying, it's not that great. My argument isn't that it's useless or like, not better than not having it. It's just that it's mediocre, at best. Alright, still nothing interesting I've found. This floor is just uh, everywhere but where I'm going is the right way. Much like my quest for the boss on later floors usually. Uh, tinted Rock. I'll play him. See what we get. Kind of figured. But I can use it. It's good enough. Not like a bad thing. Alright, calm. Calm, everyone. Boom. Oh. <laughs> then I freed you. That's fine. Everything's fine, guys. Do not worry. I only freed a simple fly. Can you, can you not die? Is that impossible? Thank you. I'm looking, I'm just not finding. I kinda considered, I'll do it. Freeing this room up. Just to make it easier, faster, dunner. Okay, that time the soul definitely did, but I was gonna dodge just fine anyway. I feel like I don't do knife runs very often. Sure. So now I have a knife. Knife's pretty strong. Fast and damaging and all that. All right, I'll take uh, the sharp plug on principle, essentially. What the sharp plug does is it allows me to damage, allows me to damage myself for uh, two full hearts uh, in order to fully charge my spacebar item, but I can only use it if my spacebar item has no charge whatsoever. Just takes one. All you need is one. Do it, I dare you. Punk, thank you. Chest. Remember how I said I, I don't find guppy pieces normally? Oh, I actually did. But, this is actually one of the reasons I took the knife. Uh, the knife very rarely spawns any flies, oops, <laughs> with guppy. It just like doesn't. So I'm essentially not gonna be very guppy. All guppy gave me now basically is flight. So spawning kamikaze flies every hit. I'll spawn kamikaze flies once in a while. But in general, will not spawn very many. So I feel like hopefully that's a nice change as far as Guppy is concerned, since I know I did become Guppy in the last two episodes. This is a little different from just being Guppy and face rolling everything that way. Knife's actually pretty skill based. Like it, it, it takes a learning curve in order for it to be particularly good for you. Oops, that's fine. If I had the wafer, I, I would have abandoned my spacebar item, by the way. Reason being that with uh, any spacebar item that generates health for you on use and the wafer, you can regenerate or generate up to as much health as you want because of the half heart cost instead of a two heart cost. But right now with the sharp plug, I'd be going negative, but if I had the wafer, I could go positive and I could just generate full health all the time. That would be boring, but it is a strategy if you're playing to win that, uh, you know, just probably worth employing.
We're just getting that thought out there. Got plenty of health already. Got plenty of health already. All right, do that. Keep going. If this is the right way, I'm gonna be so surprised because it's me, of course. We know I can't pick the right way, no matter what I do. All right, pin. Let's do this, or not. All right, not interested in that room. Could be a build reroll or something that I just don't want. Even though I would, I would keep Guppy with that. But I just uh, like what I got, man. I am not one to reroll builds. I would have donated all my money if there were a donation machine there. For sure. Oh, I almost had that. If I had just uh, gone a little later, I actually would have had it just fine. Wow, that's a lot of damage, man. Okay, okay. Good and good. Now this is just a hard fight, so I'm not gonna get anything interesting out of this. Just decided not to kill that eye. Why kill that eye? Who needs to? It's just there to make me scared, and I'm not scared of it. I had to prove that point, of course. All right, I didn't want to come to this room, actually, but I guess I'm here now. Now I know it's a dead end, but I didn't choose this direction. That direction chose me. That was the wrong way. Darn. It's fine, that's why I have extra health. So I can afford to do that. All right, hoping this direction does not dead end me. I just right into it and it didn't curve or anything. Obviously I'm spoiled from the soul doing any amount of work this run. Dead end again. How surprised can we really be? Not very. I swear though, my percentage went up from like probably above 50 to like, or sorry, probably below 50 I guess to like 100% for choosing the wrong direction. Now that does come from the fact that um, left is no longer guaranteed, well, not, it was never guaranteed, but left is no longer like way more based than any other direction. So, is, uh, they're, they're a lot more even. So it is pretty much a lot less likely that I guess right. Because generally my guessing process was just go left. And it just worked. Mm, yeah, I could still be right. But, uh... Now it's just... Oh, man. This horrible. Okay. Cool. Guess I'm going this way. Alright, it works. That one, it almost like pulled that tear back into me. I was totally well out of the way, and I was like, maybe, maybe you're out of the way, maybe not. Like this fight's a great example of a place where you cannot rely on the soul to do anything useful for you. Because if you just rely on it to block everything, you're gonna get hurt a lot. So you need to just dodge as if you don't have it. But it is useful in some rooms. If you're lucky enough. Cool. Halo of flies, two orbitals, block tears, kill flies. Aquarius, track tears on the ground, they're useless, they do like no damage and have nothing special about them. Rainbow Baby shoots random tears from the other familiars and money equals power is 0 .04 damage up for every cent that I have. Capping out at uh, 99 cents, of course which is 3.96 damage. I'm about halfway there. 
probably not hugely important. Uh, in the grand scheme of things right now. Dudes, I'm just trying to bomb you with my own personal bombs. I don't know if that works on Super Wrath as well. I forgot if people tested that. I think it might actually, which is obviously like insane. But it's okay, I didn't need it to. I don't really have a reason to take that. I don't need a fire rate up. I don't need a speed up. And I don't need a damage down. Because that's a 0.9 multiplier on my damage and then minus 0.4. It doesn't strike me as very worthwhile of a pickup. Oh. Well, that didn't really help me very much. <laughs> that looked really funny, having all the tears just like spray off in weird directions. Do the thing. Or don't do the thing. Or just do not do the thing. Oh, I kept moving. Deceleration, man. It's tough. But I chose the wrong way. Surprise. Probably gonna be left. Because I didn't choose left. And left's like, what, you don't trust me? I'm still cool, you know. I'm still hip. I know what the kids are saying. And it's not what it's about, left. It's just not. See? It's doing it again. Like, nah, keep going left. It's the only right way. Let's see if that continues. Oh no, see? Now it's like, yeah, you didn't have faith, so I quit. Dang, left. See, it gave up just before the end, too. It was like, see, I had it, and then I just kind of quit. And you were right there. You were right at the end. All right, let's fully rely on um, the soul. It, it almost works. Uh, a lot of those were blocked by the orbitals, though. And some of them, eh, you know. But it worked, for the most part, for what I had with me at the time. Which is at least something. Let's see, what did we, uh, what did we stats? All right, didn't collect anything new, unsurprisingly. I don't think there's anything new for me to collect besides secret room items that I have unlocked. But that's okay. That's still a fun run. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.